Um, you told me uh, when we were chatting that you've moved from the peg and now you're on the island. So, uh, I mean, wh- how long? Yeah, yeah things have, uh, have, have altered here. I, I've, uh, uh, I was divorced uh, about 10 years ago now, and I remarried uh, about five years ago. And my, and my wife was from BC. She, uh, she was raised in Delta, just sort of south of Vancouver. And, uh, and and always had wanted to come back to this part of the world. And oddly enough, Fred Penner's place was based on on uh, on, on BC. The set was designed by Lawrence Collette, who was a, a designer with CBC, and he uh, and and he had gone into the into the woods or Stanley Park, wherever, and had imitated much of the the entire set. Basically, is imitated from uh, or in, influenced rather by. The, uh, by the rainforest and by the environment around here. So it, 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 in an odd way, it's sort of like coming home for me as well. But we've, we bought a house in, uh, in, a, in a little town close to Comox and Qualicum Beach, that area, about two years ago now. And, and we officially moved in about a year ago. Beautiful part of the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love very much. I have a lot of friends over there as well. Um, I'm sure you not, do. You were talking about your... Um, uh, you know, the intro for Fred Vanner's place, which I have to tell you is probably as a kid growing up through that time is probably one of the best intros to a kid's show I've ever seen because <laughs> you, you're going through the forest. So that's Stanley park. And I noticed that's probably the uh, down in Vancouver on the beach. It looked like. Yeah. The, uh, the opening, it, it went through a few incarnations along the way, but, uh, but the main one was uh, some shots from um, off of Burrard by uh by the uh, by the dear pacific ocean in in that coast and then and then there's one point where i uh where it shifts to uh lake winnipeg to grand beach in that that area so because the show the show was taped both in winnipeg and vancouver pretty much split down the middle in quantity of uh, of episodes so it had a, it's magical a, a, a bit of Winnipeg, bit of BC. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, it was it was as a kid, and anyone that's um say uh, from America, I know you're on Nickelodeon down there, but some some people that are not familiar with the show, um, it was great. Fred going through the forest, and then you had to climb through a log to get to Fred Penner's place, and I loved that. I, I mean, that that was the con. Then that that was my concept. The the the, the word bird who was iconic in the show was uh, was from a a writer in Toronto who was was part of that but uh but but the log was my idea and i was pretty pleased with that for sure and what, a, what an idea because what you know uh four to four to six year old or three to eight year old kid you know wow you so he's walking up and he goes to this log and it was in essence it was your oscar the grouch can yeah <laughs> right <laughs> sure. because everyone wondered what was going on down at oscar's what's that happening yeah, yeah, what's yeah. happening down there? And then here you are with the with the log. And it's like, well, if you go to this log, where is this log located? And how do we get there? I'm a, I'm a, I want to go there. I want to see Fred in this place. And it was it was really iconic. It's something that um, um, almost everyone who's at, who <laughs> I told that you were coming on, you're like, you got to ask him about the log. Yeah, ask him about know, the so, log. That's so funny. I know a, a lot of people along the way have, have sent me messages saying that that they they are are have an, a, an appreciation for for nature because of my show and they're always looking for the log and it's it's it, it was pretty cool that I was able to to do that for you know for almost a thousand episodes over thirteen years what an what an opportunity certainly amazing thanks for stopping by friends to the Brenton on Tour podcast channel on YouTube coffee music travel life all of those things one page, lots of guests, lots of chatter. We talk about all of it. If you like it, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Thanks friends. See you next time.